Hello YouTubers. I have made a, uh, a thumb for my pet dinosaur. The machine is quite old but works beautifully. So since I started it in 2006, I realized I need a thumb to, uh, to uh, facilitate the bucket. However, whatever thumbs I've been looking at online, offline, this is a 42 inch thumb. So many thumbs are about 36 inch long. So 42 inches one takes a few bucks to purchase a, we call it, fixed thumb. Do not mention the hydraulic thumbs. The price might come down, still around $1,500. So after all the thinking, so I realized I can actually make one from scrapped metal. So you can see the middle tubes are five inch thick wall tubing. You can see from there the thick wall tubing. Okay, And uh, those are all I believe it's three eighths or half inch plate within reinforcement. All the pins are farmer's equipment pin. The pin is about one inch. So I got here and then I got a six inch thick wall tubing as extension. This front can be removed. So the front teeth part can be removed from this supporting so you can have something else on there. I'm not quite sure. Never been removed, but it's actually two part detachable. So the question come back to the teeth. The teeth I utilized a loader bucket blade. So you can tell this one is about eight inches wide. Should be wider would be better but so far so good has been able to grab two three thousand pound of items up with no trouble at all. Yeah, see it's all detachable and also this base here, this hole matching this hole so when this thing's removed this supporting beam, this supporting beam being removed, I can tack this back over here so they do not have to take them all off and so that I can just remove this supporting beam and then uh, tucking the thumbs back to this hole which is pretty handy. Yeah, since then the thumb has been with me for about 10 years and never failed me even once. Even it's a fixed thumb but it works really well. Eventually once I get enough finance I might put a hydraulic thumbs so that'll give me a little bit more flexibility to uh, grabbing things. But so far I have done four or five house demolition. So the foundation cement, the cement blocks, cement slabs, they are a couple of thousand pounds each, some big slabs. So this thing's grabbing them with no problem. So this bucket is 24 inch, comes along with this dinosaur. Uh, the teeth point to the pivot point, to the pin point is 42 inches. That's why this has to be matching that. Make sure the tips are matching so you can grab some smaller items. All right. Thank you so much, YouTubers. Uh, this has cost me 25 bucks altogether with a little bit of welding, some tubing, and then tubing is all given by my friends, so it didn't cost me much. So, considering a nine or a thousand dollar fixed thumb to this $25 thumbs has been very rewarding. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully, you may have a ideas to build your own fixed thumb. The thumb is a very heavy duty. I can grab a about two 2,500 pound, 2,500 pound items and moving around, no problem at all. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of talking. Have a very nice day. Here's the machine. That's my old pet dinosaur. Just put on a brand new tracks. So they might give me many, many years of service. Oh, by the way, this machine is only 4,600 hours on registering. 
I put about 500, so it's about five to 6,000 hours maximum. So it still functions beautifully. So I wish um, you can learn a little bit from this thumb fabrication, make your own, so you don't have to shell out a thousand bucks to it. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.